Hey, what's up? Let's find unique values in a comma separated list. And what on earth do we mean? Well, check out this list of movies right here in the genre column. We have genres, but a movie can have more than one genre attached to it. So we, what we want to do is extract all of the unique values here. And the reason that this is not going to work if we just use like the unique function, if I grab a few of these right here, it's going to see the cells as being unique values. So crime comma drama in this cell is unique from drama in the cell before it. We want to actually extract every value and then compare those for their uniqueness. Now I've done a previous video where you can do this with formulas, but today we're gonna to use Power Query. So what we want is to go up to our data tab right here and we're gonna get data from a table and this will open up our Power Query window which is not opening on the screen that I want it to. Oh, there we go. And now we have that whole table of information of data right here in our Power Query editor. The only thing that we're gonna fool with though is this genre column. So the first thing we're gonna do is split this out by all of the commas. We can just stay in our home tab, come over here to split column, select delimiter. It's gonna probably select the one you want. It's comma in our case and then open up advanced options. We don't want separate columns for these. We want one column and split into rows, okay? So then we're gonna click okay. And now we've got all of those genres in this new column. We got one cleaning problem though. See how there's little spaces in front of some of these words? That's because after the comma, there was a space in our list as is commonly the case. So what we want now is to transform, come over here to format, and trim and check it out. All of those letters that were previously slightly indented by a space, they moved over. So now we're cleaned up and ready to go to the next step. Now the last part saves us a ton of function writing. We're gonna go back to the home tab and then we're gonna say group by. And we still want this genre column selected, make sure it's still selected there. And if it's not, you can actually change it from this drop down list right here. We can just name this count. The operation is going to be count rows click OK and check that out. Now it is counting the number of occurrences of drama as 724, all the way down to sport, our last category at 19. So this is an easy way to do what you could have done with some more complicated or written out functions and formulas in the sheet itself, but Power Query, it's really powerful. I really love using this when I can. Now, in order to get this back into our Excel spreadsheet, all we need to do is come up here, click close and load, now, if we don't actually specify where we want to load it to, it's just gonna load the connection and not actually the data into our spreadsheet. So we wanna load this to a table in our existing worksheet. And let's just scroll over here, over here to R2, and we'll plop it down right there. If we click OK, now it's going to bring in, and we're gonna just resize our columns because they're kind of funky now but now it's gonna bring in that data over here to the right of where we were. We're gonna have our counts of all the data. It's connected up here. And if you don't see this queries and connection sheet or uh, page right there, then you can go up to the data tab and it's just this queries and connections selection right there. Hey, I hope that's helpful for you. And if you wanna see how to do this with functions and formulas, I did this video previously on how to do exactly that. I used Google Sheets in it, but you can do the same exact thing here in Excel if you don't wanna go through the trouble of Power Query. If you want more tips and tricks like this on spreadsheets, on coding, so forth and so on, check out my free newsletter. You can join now for free. That link is in the description below. And I hope you have a great one. Goodbye.